Hello, everyone, and welcome to MSK Unknown Case Series, Case 22. This is an amazing case. I can't wait to share this with you. We have two MRI images. We have an axial T2 fat sat image on the left and a sagittal T2 fat sat image on the right. This is of the elbow. And we're looking at the elbow right here. This, of course, is the, uh, the proximal ulna here. This is the trochlea here. And the question that I have for all of you guys is the integrity of what structure determines the degree of retraction of the pathology shown? Is it the cubital tunnel, the bicipital radial bursa, the anticubital fossa, or the Lacertus fibrosis? The integrity of what structure determines the degree of retraction of the pathology shown? So we have this axial T2 fat sat image through the elbow. This here is the radius, the circular bone here in cross section is the radius. This is the ulna. We obviously have subcutaneous edema you know, anteriorly. And this here is the radial tuberosity and there should be a nice dark black tendon, which is known as the biceps tendon that inserts onto the radial tuberosity. But instead we lose the hypo intense or dark signal of the tendon and it's filled with T2 hyper intense signal, which is edema or hemorrhage. So we know that the tendon is torn and in fact it's retracted. Uh, we don't even see the normal dark signal. We may see a little bit of it here, but we don't really see the dark signal of the tendon. So we know that this is a nice example of a biceps tendon tear. So the degree of retraction of the biceps tendon is determined by the bicipital aponeurosis or the Lacertus fibrosis. So the answer here is, of course, the Lacertus fibrosis. This is uh, aponeurotic tissue that exists medially and extends to the medial uh, anterior medial fascia of the mid forearm. So this is known as a Lacertus fibrosis, very important in anchoring and keeping the biceps tendon intact and not allowing it to be retracted. So this is, this is something that we see on MRI of the elbows from time to time. Uh, remember that the biceps inserts onto the radial tuberosity at the elbow. Now the brachialis, which is, so this muscle here is the brachialis and this is the tendon that inserts onto the ulnar tuberosity, right? So the brachialis inserts onto the ulnar tuberosity, but the biceps brachii inserts onto the radial tuberosity. That's important to keep in mind. Biceps tears are much more common actually at the shoulder than the elbow, but I'm showing you an elbow case uh, in this particular case. They're usually traumatic. They usually present with pain, swelling, and the Popeye sign, the Popeye sign, of course, is this focal bulge. You feel a palpate, you can palpate a focal budge in your mid arm, secondary to the retracted biceps tendon. Uh, so typically that, that's how it can present. Sometimes patients feel a feeling or a sensation of popping as they tear the tendon. Okay. And of course, the Lacerda's fibrosis or the bicipital aponeurosis, they're synonymous terms. They did, that structure determines the degree of retraction of the tendon. Very important to, of course, keep in mind. And you know, typically if there's a large degree of retraction, surgical reattachment is often necessary. Now, of course, if there's you know, chronic tendinopathy or a very, a very low grade, low, low, low grade partial tear, sometimes they can manage it conservatively, but in my experience, most bicep tendon tears require surgical reattachment. So thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Tune in next week for another super high yield MSK case to help you uh, ace your core exam. Thank you so much.